In a follow-up to tense trash and trauma and Eureka coverage, a few things have happened, but not much has changed. In the midst of piles of personal belongings, tarps, tents, and clothing, people who were ousted from the bushes adjacent from the FedEx building in northern Eureka had nowhere to go. One woman, who did not want to be interviewed on camera, said that she was still on the waiting list with a program assisted by the city of Eureka called Uplift. In the meantime, she and others were waiting it out in the Greenbelt area at the north end of Eureka, only a sidewalk away from Highway 101. Documenting again that this mess is still here and that it is indeed the same trash. In regard to property stewardship on that block, Eureka City Manager Miles Slattery explained that it was a network of property ownership and that in the privately owned Greenbelt area where trash removal occurred in September of 2022, there were five separate parcels. Those parcels are owned by four separate property owners. And according to Slattery, each of those property owners were noticed about the need to abate accumulated rubbish and debris. The most recent point in time count found that Eureka, within its city boundaries, has at least 498 individuals identified as homeless and that roughly 80% of them were considered chronically unsheltered. Crystal is one of these people. Crystal lives with Rico and a tent mate out in the marsh, north of Eureka, not far from Open Door Clinic and not far from the Salvation Army building. She took me with her one day to go back to get some water in a jug that she uses to fill at a nearby gas station almost daily. Follow-ups on tense trash and trauma in Eureka coverage will include updates about Crystal and Rico and services provided or not provided for people on the fringes of the housing crisis in Eureka and Humboldt County. Reporting for Headline Humboldt, this is Ryan Hudson.